Well, Thursday is typically the time we set aside a little bit of time for the members of the medical community to make a visit with us. That's the case today as well. Ophthalmologist Brian Grote joining us. Dr. Grote here to talk about the advances in laser cataract and lens implant surgery. He's also here to get a little bit of maybe nappy time. He's got that's a one-year-old right. that's not sleeping at home, so he's a little, a little groggy that's, this morning. That's right. How are things otherwise? Otherwise, everything is going great. Uh, you know, this community has, has just been a wonderful community to practice and to operate. Uh, new Hanover Regional Medical Center has really embraced the new technology with cataract surgery. And what they've done is brought in a laser to help assist us in cataract surgery. Over the last 15 years, we've gotten really good at getting uh, this surgery time down. No stitches are used at the end of cataract surgery. Patients recover really fast. And they actually expect a lot of times to not be wearing glasses after surgery. How, how quick have the advances come in this? Because it seems like in just a short amount of time, the procedures, and this is for someone that hasn't had it, and I don't want to simplify the process, but it seems like it's become more of a routine surgery. It really is, and everybody gets cataracts at some point in their life, and it's just a clouding of the lens, and when that clouding of the lens causes problems in your daily activities, we offer them cataract surgery. And traditionally, we make cuts into the eye with a blade, and we have to go in and manually open up the lens and then use ultrasound to uh, dissect that lens. What this new laser does is it makes the incision for us, so it's a lot safer. It opens up the lens for us to get access to it, and then it actually softens the lens, so that when we're, when we're taking it out, it's a a lot less energy is used and patients recover much faster. What typically, is there a certain age where you're starting to see people that really are in need of a surgery for cataract? Usually cataracts start developing when people are 60 and then, uh, you know, we'll operate on people in their 50s and all the way up into their 90s. So it really, uh, it just depends on when it's affecting their life. And you mentioned the procedure going from an actual um, incision with a, a scalpel to yes. going to a laser now. How? Much uh, the, here's my broken English. How better is that? How much better is that for not only the, the, the physician performing the surgery, but for the patient as well? Well, really, what we talk about in surgery is safety and then results. And and of course, using the the scalpel to get into the eye is is a very safe procedure, and we're going to continue to do that. But using a laser is uh, makes the incision much more precise, and then the opening into the lens is much more precise, and softening the lens really helps out. And so this laser can add. Uh, to the safety profile of the surgery, and patients can re uh, recover a lot quicker. I want to ask you about the recovery time. But oftentimes, you'll hear people that will say, you know, I came out of surgery and I could see across the room. I mean, is right. it literally that, that quick? It can be. Uh, there's usually some blurring right after surgery because there's inflammation. We inject a lot of fluid into the eye to be able to remove that cataract lens. Um, but usually when people wake up the very next morning, some people are seeing 20-20 already. It's amazing. It's just amazing to me that you yeah. can go in and, I mean, someone who, you know, can't see from here to their hand. Exactly. Can suddenly see, you know, intricacies on faces and leaves on trees and things like that. It's a wonderful new technology. And, and I, always, I always tag this out with, if you have questions about a procedure like this, don't ask me. I don't have the medical degree just yet. I don't have it. <laughs> he does. Always contact your physician if you want to, uh, more information about these procedures. Doctor, I appreciate the time. Thank you so much. All right.